All right, today I'm going to show you my uh, travel setup. I'm flying out in a few hours. I'm going to Boston. If you happen to be in the area, please say hello. And I will be back for a Specialty Coffee Expo in April. But anyway, pretty off the cuff video. I just wanna show you how I travel around with my coffee setup. And I'll show you a few different variations of this because I think it's really fun. This is super fun for me to do. Uh, but here, it all kind of starts with uh, this thing here. This is the Peak Design Everyday version one, uh, or really any of the everyday backpacks will work. This happens to be a version one 20 liter. And in here, I can fit everything and I can configure this backpack to basically be fit so many different setups, especially when it comes to manual espresso and portable brewing, things like AeroPress, pour over, what have you. Let's kind of begin by going in and looking inside of the backpack. I'm going to open up the top here because you're able to fit a heck of a lot of stuff in this backpack. So the first thing is I'm kind of now a fan of traveling with the Pico Presso. I feel like the Pico Presso is so unique because it's so small and you can fit a tamper, you can fit all these different things inside of it. And I'll have a video talking about these two uh, very soon. I'll probably record it in the Airbnb or something or hotel uh, because I think these two are very unique travel espresso machines and I think they kind of pair really well together. Here, so you can fit a Pico Presso here. You could also fit a Nomad in the top of the Peak Design backpack. Uh, but also, you know, I like to carry a grinder around. So this here is a Commandante uh, C40 Mark III and, it ha and it's just in this easy Presso uh, grinder case. I'm going to kind of show you the side profile of this backpack and this is really where you can fit a lot more stuff in here and this is how it works if you don't know if you've never seen a Peak Design backpack. Wow so we have all these different uh, dividers basically and you can put these different dividers and kind of like layer them and they actually fold too and this is what really makes it super unique is they fold and you can have different iterate different kind of dividers and sections you can stick things in between and it makes your life really easy but for the coffee stuff i kind of just have two layers especially if i need to actually bring a kettle for example so in here actually let's go over this side here there in here is just a uh, weightman scale pretty standard uh, and a kaya would fit in here as well or at least a lunar and definitely the pixis and then here funnily enough here's a corvo and then in the back here, you could actually fit a laptop and fit a bunch more stuff here, but I have a base. So this is kind of the first configuration of this backpack. You can use the bottom section here to actually fit a kettle. Really angle this, you could actually fit the, the stag in here, but it's very difficult in my opinion. This is much easier. And if we're doing things like AeroPress, or espresso, especially with these machines, you don't need a gooseneck kettle. Although, an uh, interesting alternative, these this doesn't exist anymore, but this is the Stag Mini, or if you had a tiny pour-over kettle, you could also fit that in here as well. So that kind of just slides in there, and that's super funny to me. So some other configurations, obviously, are things like an AeroPress. But nowadays, what's really interesting to me, at least, is I would rather pick a Pico Presso over this. I'm not really super concerned about the weight here. I'm kind of concerned about physical space. And as you see here, the Pico Presso is actually smaller than the AeroPress, and this has a Prisma on it. But even with the standard attachment, this is smaller, and it's just a bit easier for me to uh, throw around. And if I did want to utilize kind of uh, layers in the Peak Design backpack, I could just have, you know, I could actually just have the side like this, and I can have the Pico Presso fit in on the side like that. And um, actually, let me show you how that looks is, I also have this guy here, you know, you could fit a mug on the side of your backpack. Got this one, this is a good goat, goat, the goat of mugs, I guess. And you get a lot of space for uh, whatever you wanna do. In fact, with this current setup, with uh, just the, even the kettle, the Pico Presso, even AeroPress, I could fit, I could fit for all of this basically in here. Maybe not the Nomad, Nomad might be pushing it, but I actually do have space for a pour over tripper. But I think for most folks, you don't really need something like this. And the reason is because you're probably going to a hotel or you're going to somewhere, unless you're going out in the woods, I guess, uh, then I would just opt to get even maybe the stovetop stag or any of the stovetop kettles would work great because what you could actually do is if you're at the hotel, you could actually just boil water in a kettle and then constantly refill this and you would get 
a good enough, I at least for me, I wouldn't really care if my temperature was to the degree accurate if I was just trying to do pour overs in a hotel. Uh, but if you were trying to do wilderness stuff, I think you, you could definitely fit, you know, those gas burners like for your bribes and, uh, you know, jet, I think they're like the jet burners, uh, you could fit those in here. But for me, I actually have been really just enjoying this where I take this top part here and I'll kind of show the side, then take my C40 or grinder of choice, put it in here. So you'll see, you'll see that there's plenty of space still up here. And then I can take my Pico Presso and I can just put the Pico Presso here and I can actually, I could, you know, even put this in here. Like I could, I could just really stack things up on the side here. And because everything has a case, I don't really care if they're touching. And then I have all this space down here on the bottom to do anything that I want. I can fit coffees in here. I can fit, um, tampers, accessories, uh, and actually, let's see if I can do this. I'm pretty sure I can do the Nomad in here as well. Let me try fitting this in here. I think if I remove the bottom flap, I could do the Nomad. So there you go. If you really wanted to go crazy here, I have a mug, a scale here. Uh, I'll put the tamper in here as well. Then I have, uh, I have an AeroPress, a Pico Presso, a C40, and a Nomad, uh, all in a single backpack. Let me just close this guy up. So there you go. If you did want to go crazy and bring a Pico Presso, Nomad, AeroPress, and a uh, grinder, here you are. And what's cool with the Peak Design backpacks is they have locks here, and you can really kind of change the height of this. So if you wanted to fit more stuff up here, you could just go higher up on the locks here. So say uh, if you wanted to, I guess, toss a bag of coffee, right? You could you could do that and you could feel pretty confident doing that. Could even fit a laptop here because I don't have the space, the space stack here is not taken up by a base anymore. But yeah, that's how I travel around with coffee equipment. And it's really convenient because, you know, you could actually replace the C40 with something like an electric grinder, like a Laga Mini. And uh, you have a absolutely amazing setup, especially with the Nomad that's here now uh, to bring around. And if you wanted to teach people how to make espresso, teach them about profiling, it's pretty crazy that you can fit all of that in a backpack like this. And it's not that heavy. This is really easy to carry around. So yeah, that's how I bring things around. I'm bringing some iteration of this uh, to uh, Boston with me and to some of these events and to travel around because why not? But that's all I wanted to show off today. Thanks for spending the time to watch a video. If you want to hang out, please reach out to me. At, my Instagram is right here, but otherwise I'll see you around.